Hi, this is Frederick for the Diary of the Startup Entrepreneur. We're here in Barcelona again. And today I want to talk to you about two things. First, uh, the importance of having great advisors that can give you really valuable input, which impacts the way you present to your customers. And the other thing is just an anecdote about how a partner actually turned out to be not so good. And that's kind of a follow up of what I was telling you the other day about plan A and plan B about partners. So first thing first, uh, this morning I had a really good session with one of our advisors and we're going after a big bank, a big international bank with a headquarter in Spain but dealing in 20 countries and you know we had a first meeting with them and then we realized we needed to adapt our message. So we spent quite a bit of time both internally with the marketing team and then again with this advisor this morning to really fine tune the message and I just want to let you know how important that is. You know you really really need to adapt your message to your customer and of course make sure you meet their needs. So that's what we're we're trying to do and I think that's uh, going pretty well. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is this partner, right, uh, which uh, was our plan A at the beginning for quite some time. Well, actually, uh, we're working together, or we're supposed to work together on an innovative project uh, with new technologies such as blockchain. And I did the first uh, white paper for it, like the first draft, which actually it's like 20 different versions, but it's like a finally a draft that's, uh, I think, uh, very uh, presentable. And I give it to them at the end of August and they were supposed to work on it now and give some feedback in September of course September nothing they had some excuse about time blah 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 they were busy but they were working on it and we finally had the meeting yesterday and of course they didn't do much uh, uh, but on top of that what's really crazy is how they presented themselves and how you know like instead of like recognizing these, they were like trying to put the blame somewhere else you know so that's actually very fairly typical in some cultures where people don't want to acknowledge their mistakes mistakes or their failures, uh, which is not the case. I think uh, that shouldn't be the case when you're an entrepreneur and definitely not with the partners that you have. I mean, I'm very happy actually to recognize my failures. I had many, but in their case, uh, they had a little a bit of a hard time recognizing that they didn't do their job. So instead of doing that, they were just like, you know, like finding excuses like the draft. Oh, but you know, we need to have some more things in the draft because we're doing a thing which is totally bullshit. And uh, then, you know, like what they showed me was pretty much an article from the internet that was talking about general things about white papers. So nothing specific they gave me. So, you know, it was like, what a disappointment. And that's why in the other video I was telling you about the importance of, of course, having a strong plan A, but also having a plan B that you can rely on. So that's what we're doing now. We're switching to plan B. And just to finish on a positive note, you know, this uh, meeting with the bank, I think it's uh, very promising the way it's going. So I really encourage you to uh, adapt yourself to uh, your customers, uh, to their needs and to target your message properly. Anyway, be safe online and offline and we'll see you soon.